excited today. Uh, a lot of people are talking about this individual. I'm sure most people on YouTube are familiar. Uh, I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna try to get some clips out of it if I can speak. I'm gonna spread the word to TikTok. I kind of feel like the next natural step, sadly, for Onion Sun, I'm gonna refer to him as Onion Sun. Like, I know that it's gonna probably be in the tags of the video. He's probably gonna copyright strike or whatever. He's crazy. He's nutty. But. I don't. I, I think that Onion Sun is gonna go to TikTok. If he's not already. And I just wanna try and show you what to look out for when you may be seeing Onion Sun content. And what to be aware of if you, God forbid, interact with the Onion Sun in the wild. Okay? So, just to fill you all in, this is the probably the main channel, I would say, of Onion Sun. Obviously, it has his main name, it has his main logo, it's a simple logo. Been on YouTube for a very long time. Let me show you exactly how long. Now, I just want to say, I don't think this is his oldest channel, and also he's deleted a lot of videos. Uh, so this is the kind of content that Onion Sun started with. As you can see, uh, we've got a bunch of songs, like meme songs, and uh, some kind of strange reaction stuff for some reason filming the cat's asshole. I don't understand that. Um, how to take a shower, probably a good video, to be honest, a lot of people don't. Uh, how to be emo, I don't think anybody needs help with that. How to solve a Rubik's Cube with the Joker. You know, this, is, this is the kind of content that you would see. And these are all from, you know, 10 to 13 years ago. Now, like I said, this is content, uh, this is kind of, uh, first of all, I want to move myself around. I want to, I want to drag myself around, so I'm, I'm moving around in front of this, so that way we can say that this is, uh, I, I'm not stealing Justice content. Uh, if you try to copyright claim this, it's really weird of you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in front of it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the content has been deleted. A lot of the stuff that I watched when I was growing up of Onion Sons was on a different channel and it's been deleted because I did go and I checked through the channels. I just want to show you, like I said, this is his main channel. Uh, one thing about Onion Sun, even back when he was new on YouTube, always had a ton of channels. Uh, Onion Sun here, the main channel. Uh, Onion Sun Speaks, the vlog channel. Now this, this was active, I feel like, for longer, right? And it kind of was more edgy content. You can still see here some of the hints of the kind of content that personally irritated me. Um, a lot of the content he was doing, a lot of the content he was doing, by the way, I think these are uh, a little TOS -y for Twitch, but it's okay, I'm not on Twitch, I don't have to worry about that. So this is the kind of content he was doing on his Onion Sun Speaks channel, this has one and a half million followers, basically. And as we can see, this is the stuff that remains. You are perfect, you are beautiful just the way you are. All this stuff is what remains. Now let me tell you what used to be on this channel. The kind of content that I got served when I was a young teenage girl growing up, it was older than this, it was around like, um, oh gosh, let me think. Yeah, like thir between 13 and 15 years ago, I would say. I mean, maybe more closer to 13, 14 because I'm getting to the point in my age where I can hardly remember how long ago things are, you know? Like, you telling me 2000 was 20 years ago, and I'm like, holy fuck. But when I was a teenager, I was, I was on YouTube like most people around like 2005, 2006. It was just recently getting bought by Google. It was just in its new baby stages. And Onion Sun was a very prolific creator on the platform. What Onion Sun would do to get a lot of engagement, which back then was everything. Onion Sun would make body rating videos. So let me explain to you what this body rating trend would amount to. Basically, Onion Sun, who even at the time was, I believe, a legal adult. I'm not sure how old Onion Sun is now. Even then, would be taking pictures off of MySpace, off of any social media, like MySpace is probably the major one at that point, to be honest, because he would be a lot of fr like friends or with a lot of scene girls, a lot of emo girls on MySpace that'd be posting pictures of, of themselves. Also would get them off of Facebook at later stages. And 
at even later stages because people started giving him shit really early on for this. They're like, how are you going to take a picture some girl just put up with her, her, her for friends and, and fucking criticize her on her body? So what Onion Sun started doing, now keep in mind, this is already once he had a fat fan base. Onion Sun would make private forums, PHPBB forums, and allow girls to put up photos with the insistence that people could no longer bitch about his body rating videos because those girls had chosen to be in it. Now, let me just say, how fucked is it, right? How much does it reek of male entitlement that when people say, hey, why don't you stop rating young girls' appearances based on how fuckable they are to you, an adult man, why don't you stop doing that? And instead of stopping doing that and being like, oh shit, I didn't realize that I was causing people to have a negative self-image, I'm sorry. How fucked up is it that instead of doing that, you're just like, okay, well I'm so famous, I'll just make a forum where I can do it with their permission. And then you can't complain at me. Like, that's the kind of person that this is. Just to be clear. And those body rating videos would get served to me all the time on YouTube when I was a young teenager. And not super young, I, I'll say like mid-teens. Let's be generous, let's say mid-teens. But just like everybody in their teenage years, I had a lot of self-doubt. I had a lot of body issues. Logging on to YouTube, trying to watch like fucking Smosh and video game videos and fucking G4 trailers, all right? Logging on to YouTube to watch that stuff and being greeted with a page full of, you know, because Onion Sun was really popular. He got a lot of engagement. Like I said, back then when YouTube was baby, all right, it did not matter if you had dislikes or likes. It did not matter if you had thumbs up or downs. Back then there was comments and you could also make response videos. Now, when you made a response video, it would nest underneath the video it was a response to. A lot of people did this to big creators like Onion Sun to try and get their own clout. What this means is that Onion Sun became such a hot topic on YouTube. Everybody was commenting. Everybody was sharing the videos. Everybody was either outraged or in love with him. He was so popular, he was getting recommended to everybody, even people that really did not want to see that kind of content. Even people like me. A young girl with body issues that was, to be quite honest, on the verge of suicide. I had, when I was a young teen, up until basically the week or so before I actually turned 18, I had pretty solidly sold myself on ending it when I was 18. And a large part of it was because of my looks. I had so much pent up shame and disgust for my own body. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of it is due to content like what I saw from Onion Sun. I would get those videos recommended to me, and out of curiosity, I would watch them. Like most people, when I watched them, I would get enraged. Sometimes I would even leave comments. I never made a response video. But it was something that you could tell, like, I was being part of the problem by engaging in it. But I was also a young teen, getting baited in by an adult man, and I didn't know any better. When I would watch those videos, I would see people who... Honestly, he just did it for outrage. He just did it for comments, clicks, engagement, etc. He would look at people who 100% would classify as um, having a eating disorder along the lines of anorexia or bulimia. People who are like skin and bones, alright? Like Halloween skeleton level thin. And he would be like, oh, ew, uh, I see a fold in your skin. You're still fat. Too fat for me. That's what he would say. That's the kind of stuff he would do. Now, as you can see later on, this video nine years ago, after doing this bullshit that I'm talking about for like four fucking years, he took all that shit down, he put a video up saying, you're perfect just the way you are, and he expected everybody to forget and go on with their lives. And for the most part, people did. He, everybody forgot, everybody went on with their lives. He made more channels. He has this one, which is very creatively just called New Channel. It has the least amount of subscribers. It was active three years ago. You can tell that it is him. 
He's making some vlogs, this one, goodbye, of course, probably telling you to go to his forum where he can charge you 40 bucks just to talk to him, maybe. And, oh goodness. We've got some transphobia right here. One, is it okay to misgender? The uh, answer is never, just don't misgender people. Don't, just don't. <laughs> The moment you need a gun, this is obviously something that, um, like I said, I was I was near the edge of suicide when I was a young teen. So and when I was getting served this kind of content, recommended this kind of content, the content that, as you saw on his earlier main channel, you know, how to be emo. Let's see. I'm so emo. How to be emo. <sighs> he still has some some fat shaming about his uh, his GF at the time. His GF who, let me uh, let me say, he made many videos like my happy GF, I'm not fat, my GF is beautiful, my GF, I'm not going to say your name because she doesn't want to be involved with them anymore. And then all of a sudden, uh, goodbye for, for GF because GF was no longer GF. <laughs> He's, he was even being like fat phobic, like using his relationships at the fucking time. Gosh, it's like... All this stuff, right? And he would riff off of it. The outrage that he got, he would riff off of it. So he was getting, you know, this is the nine years ago time mark. So right around here where we can see he had taken down all of the raiding videos and he put up the You Are Beautiful video. But in that same year, he also makes a video where he dresses as a woman and complains about the things that he hates about being a woman, which is basically humorously, uh, humorously stating that like, hates having to put on a bunch of makeup, hates having to brush the hair, hates having to go shopping for clothes. It's just like fucking stereotypical bullshit. It's, it's, it's like the level of content you'd see on a top 10 list, but made into a video. This was a trend. As you can tell, we did a lot of 10 things about videos. These are the ones remaining. Offensive jokes with Onision, of course. Who could who could get there without uh, who could get popular without some offensive jokes back in the day? Looking at you, Shane Dawson. <laughs> you know, maybe given the cat video, I always used to get Onion Sun and Shane Dawson mixed up for each other, and it kind of ended up being more true than I expected. <laughs> But yeah, let's let's roll through. I just want to show you. If you're on TikTok, what can you look out for about Onion Sun, okay? First of all, Onion Sun at this point is probably not going to refer to themselves as Onion Sun. Onion Sun at this point is probably going to refer under a different name, under a different account because Onion Sun, everybody knows who he is and nobody likes Onion Sun except like a handful of kids that still pay him asinine amounts of money to be on his forum so that he can tell them that they're not fuckable, all right? He knows that nobody likes him. He knows. So he goes under a bunch of different channels. Now this channel in particular, the Uh Oh Bro, <laughs> the Uh Oh Bro channel is where I first, as a, uh... oh my God, reacting to, um, yeah. Yeah, this is this is a very edgy, edgy channel. <sighs> and you can even see, he, he didn't really clean this one out as well. The Uh Oh Bro was kind of always the edgier channel. And we still have a lot of remaining fat phobia on here. We've got the fat women, overweight people, reality check. Uh, we've got Walmart shoppers, where the thumbnail is a very overweight woman. We've got... This, the, the thumbnail which he chooses as a win is a very, very, is that, I don't, I don't want to say the name, but my God, is that the face? I can't, is that Eugenia Thune? Uh, holy shit. I always heard that he had a, I always heard that he had an unhealthy obsession with, with Eugenia, but I never knew it was that bad. Just, just, uh, thumbnail baiting her. Oh, here we go. Girls trying to be cute fail, trying too hard, funny. This was, These videos that he would review, like obviously these were old videos, old YouTube videos at the time. I'm not going to view this because if this thumbnail is in the video, like if this actual content is in the video, that appears to be like a young teen girl 
pole dancing or something, and I don't think that's content anybody needs to be sharing. But apparently Onion Sun does. Now this is- this, I, I'm just trying to say, this is the kind of stuff- Oh god. This is the kind of stuff he would do that would hurt me, you know? As somebody who grew up being overweight. I've lost a lot of weight now. I'm doing way better than I was. But when I was a teenager, when I was living with my parents, and it was not my choice what food was in the house and what food I was provided to eat, I was overweight. I was very overweight. My doctors would give me ADHD medicine, and they would up the dosage, telling my parents that taking this much, I think it was like 200 milligrams, of Concerta XR in the morning will limit her appetite so she won't eat too much when she's at school. So what would happen is, indeed, I would not eat at school and I would not eat breakfast. All I would do is be unable to eat the entire day until around 9 or 10 p.m. when the Concerta finally wore off. Then I would stuff my face with some snacks and go to sleep, so I would still be fat. <laughs> oh, God. Enough about me. I'm just trying to say, I grew up fat, this kind of content was fucking everywhere. As you can see, he didn't remove all of it. Fat Girls Made Thin, Project Harpoon, How Disgusting Is That, Fat, sh fat Shaming, Is Fat Acceptance Good or Bad, Stretch Marks, Good, Bad, or Ugly, Thigh Gaps, Hip Dips, Are They Ugly, all of this content, Body Image, Worst, Pointing to the Thicker Lady, Best, Pointing to the Thinner Lady, How Fat is Too Fat to Date, this is the kind of stuff that he's he was doing and he kept doing it on Uh Oh Bro for longer because Uh Oh Bro was like his Uh Oh Bro edgy, edgy channel, you know, edgy humor. He kind of moved all that stuff over here. And he kept doing it. But I just want you to know, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like when I'm saying body rating videos, all of the thumbnails in those body rating videos were just as toxic and judgmental and gross as these ones that are left up because fat shaming is still kind of acceptable because he doesn't get as much hate for it. And I'm pretty sure if I went to those videos, all the comments would be turned off because he turned off his comments on his channels quite a long time ago. But, 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 but. <sighs> the main thing I want to say is that I feel like Onision is going to move to TikTok because TikTok is where the children are right now. And Onision loves... N sorry. <laughs> Onion Sun no loves nothing more than emotionally vulnerable children. Onion Sun does not love money more than that. Onion Sun does not love fame more than that. Onion Sun has multiple times courted an underage individual and then brought them across state lines whether through the permission of their deadbeat parents or through a ruse of like adoption and taking care of them only to wait until they were 18 and then try to sleep with them and like the day they were after they were 18 it's it's extremely toxic it's extremely gross there is no more clear textbook definition of grooming than onion sun and yet YouTube allows all these channels to stay. YouTube allows all these videos to stay. They don't really get played anymore. They don't really get recommended anymore, to my knowledge. I did make this all in an incognito tab because I don't want this showing on my regular YouTube timeline. But one thing that's concerning is that Onion Sun has been trying to appeal to children on YouTube. Okay? Onion Sun has been trying to appeal to children on YouTube through this. I'm not sure if it's a channel. I'm not sure if it's... I, I, I honestly, I don't know. Is this a thing that somebody made? Is this just YouTube aggregating all of the content under a topic? But these things are still getting... These things are, oddly enough, still getting fucking uh, sent out. These are getting recommended as you can see because whether it's a person or whether it's a youtube algorithm they are actively updating these playlists about once a week and they're adding more to it so although 
Onion Sun's channels are not doing that well. The Onion Sun Topic channel is slowly gaining momentum. And I feel like the next evolution of that is that Onion Sun's going to go to TikTok and try to prey on children there. So you need to look out for TikTok content that is along these lines, okay? TikTok content that is edgy. TikTok content that is extremely fat phobic. TikTok content that is clickbaity, trying to judge women's bodies. I wouldn't be surprised if the way that people find out Onion Sun is on TikTok is because he starts duetting people who he thinks are not fuckable and telling them such, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if that's how we find out. I would be surprised if he did that with his own face because everybody knows what he looks like. He looks like Shane Dawson, okay? He looks like emo Shane Dawson. Also vegan, for some reason. Now, I'm not going to really get into the deeper parts of the controversy here. Um, you can see that there is tons, 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 tons of people who have already done it. Onision's deleted forums from years ago. Onision is making children's content a month ago. Onision made the worst return to YouTube a month ago. And... This, this here, which is just four days ago, Onision started a cult. I did watch that. That's basically referencing what I've been talking about. The He has a secret forum now where you have to pay to get access. I think the lowest you can pay is like five or ten bucks. But if you pay like 40 bucks, you get the legend access, you know, where you get to actually, actually talk to Onion Sun himself. So you can see, like, this is what's going on. He's trying to move into children's content. And I don't mean young teens anymore, like before. Actual children's content. These songs, they're not something that a young teen would enjoy. The Stinky Duck song. The Alphabet song. Redoing the I'm a Banana with new editing to make it bright and colorful and lovable. Many, many, many re-uploads of this. Remixes, 2020, Banana Peel, Banana Nation, Uncut Banana. That sounds very fucking sus, especially from Onion Sun. And then a little bit of footage from the original, where Onion Sun procured a banana costume from, like, Party City or something and dressed up and danced around, saying I'm a banana over and over again. Now, a lot of people were worried that he, would go he was going to get seeded onto YouTube Kids, and the reason for that is because these these videos, these songs, this is this is ads, of course, because uh, because of course I'm not logged in. Now we're not going to watch this. I feel bad for the advertiser here. We can see that this has some likes. This was posted around a month ago. It's not performing the best, but it is performing well for a random new YouTube account. And these videos are marked as for children. The reason you can tell that they are marked as for children is because underneath them, they say try YouTube kids. That means these videos are marked as for children. Onion Sun is trying to expand his reach. Rather than just going for body insecure young teens, Onion Sun wants to go for children that are trying to learn their ABCs. And then if they like the ABC song, or if they like the banana song, they could click on Onion Sun's page and see lovely content such as I am trash, I'm a meme. This song, the title song, which is unsubscribe with character, character from new channel, the wonderful, super popular addition to the Onion Sun family. There's a lot going on here. No matter what it is that Onion Sun is doing in their physical life, they just won't stop trying to come back and pick insecure children out of the fucking pool while their parents are not looking. It's fucked up. The natural evolution of this, it's going to be YouTube Shorts. It's going to be TikTok. And you, TikTok Zoomers, you need to be aware of this coming threat. You need to be able to guard yourself against the onion menace, okay? So just know, if 
you ever encounter Onion Sun, if he ever says something bad about how you look, if he ever duets with one of your videos, if one of his stands or fans or whatever tries to give you shit, if you start seeing this content, you start thinking, that smells a little bit like onions. Maybe with a hint of kombucha. If you start thinking things smell vegan, a little sussy vegan, get the fuck out of there. You gotta be able to protect yourself. You gotta be able to identify a threat, which Onion Sun is, and oh, just shut him down. That's all I can say. Please, TikTokers, please, I know he's gonna come for you, and please shut him down. Because it hurt me so much growing up in that mid to young teen stage, which is the stage that a lot of TikTokers are right now. Nobody needs to be judging children's bodies. Nobody. Except maybe their doctor. But even then, they're not judging your body. They're just saying, hey, here's how to effectively maintain your flesh. You know? Nobody needs to be judging children's bodies. Nobody needs to be telling them if they're fuckable or attractive or not. Especially not some guy older than me. I mean, isn't he in his mid-30s or something? It's shameful. It's gross. It's disgusting. But TikTok is where the children are. And Onion Sun... Onion Sun is fighting. YouTube and the internet is trying to flush him down the relevancy toilet, okay? And he doesn't want to. He's like that floaty piece of shit that just won't go down no matter what. But as that piece of shit clings to the side of the toilet bowl, we know that it's not going to go quietly. It's going to yell from deep inside the bowels of the toilet, from deep inside the sewers after eventually it does get flushed down. It's going to scream. It's going to scream and it's going to say, I'm a banana. And it's going to try to find other children it can harass. This is the way of the Onion Sun. This is the way of the Onion Sun. I've been watching and seeing a lot of videos pop up about how he's been trying to weasel back into the algorithm with these kinds of rebrands of his own old content. A lot of people are concerned that because the videos are marked as for children, they may show up on the YouTube Kids app. Now, I'm not sure um, which of these playlists the Stinky Duck song is on. I know that the Stinky Duck song is made by him. Here we can see the uh, YouTube Kids interface. I am logged out. It is not showing the Stinky Duck song. If I search for the uh, Alphabet song, which is also by On Onion Sun, uh, we can see that also his version does not appear here. This is all regular kids content. It seems like YouTube Kids is smart enough to not put that here, even though it is marked as for children. Now, what I would say is sussy is that YouTube, they know what Onion Sun has done. They've been privy to his bullshit for the past 15 years. They know he's had legal trouble. They know he's been uh, pursued for grooming. He's actually been pursued by Chris Hansen, of all people. They know. All right? So why do they even allow Onion Sun to mark videos as for children? And why, when they get told about this on Twitter, why don't they ban his account? They know nothing good is going to come from it. If YouTube had enough balls to block Keemstar from owning a YouTube account, why don't they have enough balls to block Onion Sun from owning a YouTube account or submitting YouTube content? It is their platform. And they are aware of what Onion Sun does and they are choosing to allow this to be on there. They have been told many times. They have been told by many people. I have to scroll down because I don't want to look at cat asshole, no thank you, Onion Sun. It's insane. They know what he does. Let's just say, 
If you were a business owner and you recently saw on the news that a person had been arrested, charged, and maybe they got let off the charge, but it was on a technicality, you know? Like, there was some mishandling of something and they were let off the charge. But you knew, beyond a doubt, like, there was evidence shown in the trial they had, like, terabytes of, uh, illegal content, you know? Like, you knew that they were sussy. They just couldn't make the charges stick. That's basically what we have with Onion Sun. Onion Sun is sussy, but Onion Sun is also rigidly, rigidly adherent to law in a way, in the ways that he likes. Let me say that. Because when it comes to laws about not destroying uh, wetlands that happen to be on your property, he doesn't care about those at all. But when it comes to laws like how, how allowed is it to transmit a minor across state lines, Onion Sun makes sure that he just scrapes by that line, okay, of legality. Just enough to not get caught. And by the time he does get caught, the person that he committed the crime towards is, t is too old now. They no longer count as a minor, and it may be past the statute of limitations. Or they may be unwilling or unable to relive the trauma of being with Onion Sun to go through the effort of pressing charges. I mean, I just like to say this much. If there, if there can be, and obviously there can be, we've all seen it, there can be many cases, legal cases, where people get let off on a technicality or the evidence just isn't convincing enough. Onion Sun has had years, 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 years to build up evidence in the case that he is making for himself in his head, okay? When, like, let's let's talk about, I don't want to mention the name, but the co-star in the My GF is Beautiful, which you can see on the left side of the screen, and the I'm Not Fat, which you can see right next to that one. The co-star in those videos, once she was done with Onion Sun, Onion, and she tried to come out about what Onion Sun had done, how Onion Sun had treated her poorly, what Onion Sun did is he took all of this B-roll footage that he had of her being recorded, sometimes without her knowledge, and put it together to make her look unstable, crazy, unreasonable, unworkable, aggressive, etc. And that's what he's done every time. Every time somebody leaves the Onion Sun cult, if they try to strike back against the Onion, the Onion releases its stinky fumes and makes them cry because it knows Okay? The Onion knows. If you've lived with The Onion, The Onion has paid attention to every facet of your personality to learn your every insecurity. Why do you think he made a whole bunch of videos with this individual that we're talking about, the My GF is Beautiful co-star? Why do you think he made a bunch of videos with her about how she's not fat and how she's beautiful and how she's great? Why do you think? Because that way, when she says, I am not, no longer with you, I don't permit for my face and my likeness to be on your channel. He can keep those ones up and say, well, first of all, you signed a contract to be in my videos, which is true. Whenever somebody moved into his house, he made them sign a contract that they could be recorded at any time and put into a video. It's probably not legal, but nobody's ever fought him in court on it, so who the fuck knows? But, he will come at you with, if you want a video removed, he'll say, well, first of all, you signed a contract, and second of all, why would you want that removed? It's just saying how beautiful you are. So now, the person that co-starred in this video, who was groomed as a minor, who was moved across state lines, who was taken in by this disgusting root vegetable of a man, they have to know that this is up there for the rest of their life until YouTube finally decides to nut up and kick Onion off the platform. Which may be never. Let's be honest, it may be never. They may never kick him off. 
and it's fucked up. At least, even though they're not kicking him off, at least they are nuking his algorithm. He doesn't really get recommended anymore, like I've said. But you guys have to be aware. He will come for you, TikTokers. And I mean that not just in the way of he will move towards you in an attempt to obtain you, he will also do very unsavory things towards the videos you have posted, if he does not already. Please, please, be aware of nasty old guys like this. Just because they're not 50 or 60 does not mean they can't be a nasty old man. Every nasty old man was younger at some point, and the reason they got to be a nasty old man is because they got away with it when they were younger. This is what we're seeing with Onion Sun. We're seeing the Onion in its midlife stage. This Onion has been sitting in the root cellar for a while, and it's not quite rotten yet. But you can tell, something's not right with it. When you smell the onion, when you smell the kombucha, when you smell the weird judgment of women's bodies, I beg of you TikTokers, force them out. YouTube Shorts viewers, force them out. Don't engage with this shit. Don't let them get a foothold, because any fame that Onion Sun gets is going to be used to rope in more miners, just like these video co-stars. Which, by the way, there's more than one. There's more than one. <laughs> it just would need a lot of scrolling because it took a couple years. Oh shit, yep, actually there. There's another My GF video. I thought it would take a lot of scrolling. I guess it didn't. <laughs> oh no. 10 things I hate about toddlers, kids are bad. This was a video, I, I remember this exact video. Because 10 years ago, well, not, not 10 years ago, apparently six years ago, there was, there, there's always been controversy. There's not a year that o Onion sun has been on YouTube that he didn't have controversy. Because everybody's always hated him. Even when he was first on YouTube, way back in the days of response videos, alright? Everybody always fucking hated him. Except for young, emotionally vulnerable teens. They get really pulled in by this shit. And six years ago, when people were really coming down hard on Onion Sun about potentially being a nonce, Onion Sun released this video, 10 Things I Hate About Toddlers, Kids Are Bad. Note that it was immediately preceded by 10 Things I Hate About Internet Trolls, People Are Bad. <laughs> Every bit of controversy that this guy has gotten, he's tried to monetize it. And that holds true even now. People are making videos about Onion Sun coming back, trying to brand the videos for children, and Onion Sun is going to try to capitalize off that. I doubt that he'll be able to do it on YouTube, because YouTube is wise to his shit. Even though they won't ban him, even though they won't block him from having an account, even though they won't actually do anything of substance, they are at least keeping his videos down the algorithm. But TikTok has no such standards. TikTok will let anybody post. Like, a notorious YouTuber EDP has a TikTok that's popping off like mad right now. And this is a guy who got caught by the internet for sending pics of his genitals and feces to underage children, you know? So TikTok doesn't give a fuck. Unless you're a VTuber and you make videos, then they're like, fuck off, you can b get banned. But I doubt. I doubt that they would ban o Onion Sun. I doubt that they would ban EDP. They seem to just let predators run the fuck wild. But please, uh, if for some reason you're watching this and you're a parent, please watch out for Onion Sun content on your kids, YouTube channel on your kids, TikTok app if you are allowed to be a part of their viewing experience. Hopefully you are, as a parent. And if you allow your child to use the YouTube Kids app, please be aware 
of this, okay? This is auto-generated by YouTube, but it is updated weekly. This is YouTube promoting this content and marking it as for children, or it was originally marked as for children by Onion Sun, and now they're just aggregating what they think will actually pop off and re-promoting it. It's fucked. It's still being updated, and people are finding it as a way to support this guy. Yeah, that's all I got to say. It's gonna be a real pain in the ass to edit this. I know that, because it ended up being way longer and I rambled a lot and I'm probably not gonna rewatch it. So, for anybody that happens to watch it, I'm very sorry for my rambling. I just wanted to talk about it because I keep seeing videos about it. TikTok children, watch the fuck out. Onion Sun will take you across state lines and do things to you that are illegal where you live, okay? Don't. Just don't. Stay away from the onion, stay away from all root vegetables, okay? Unless you're cutting them up and putting them in a fucking stew, you don't need to interact with root vegetables on the internet. Alright? Be wary. Be wary of shit like this. <laughs> That's all I can say. I can just hope, I can only hope, that people don't have the same experience that I did growing up. Getting roped into this content, and seeing the constant judgment and body shaming. TikTok is so ripe for it, and I know he's gonna go there next, because that's what everybody does when they're washed up on YouTube. Oh, that's what I do. <laughs> Though I was never anything on YouTube to begin with. <laughs> if you want to catch my streams, I stream every day, well, six days a week at least, on Twitch. His name is Arya Starlight Triple Zero. You can find me on TikTok as well, Arya Starlight Triple Zero and Arya Starlight Double Zero, which is my backup account. Hopefully, I see you at the streams, and if I do, let me know you saw my video. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>